time the doorbell would ring, the hair on the back of my neck would stand up, and I would think, which one's coming back <coughs> now to dig in? Coming! Coming! Bob! Hi. Hello, Kurt. What's that? What's it look like? A suitcase. Tell me it's empty. Why would I carry around an empty suitcase? Well, I don't know, but I hoped you had a good reason. No, I should have called first, but I knew you wouldn't mind. It's just going to be temporary. I won't bother you. I'll be invisible. I'll be like a stealth bomber. I won't even show up on the radar. <laughs> six arms instead of six legs. Then it could do the laundry, iron the shirts, and make finger sandwiches. It can happen. That can happen. By the year 2025, menial tasks will be obsolete. I'm sorry, Pop, but I need my studio. I'm going out there right now to stretch
orange canvas. You ever hear of Aaron? Who's Aaron? A robot that paints museum quality pictures. By 2030, artists are going to be obsolete. Oh. Well, then I guess I'd better get started right away so I can get done and slip under the wire. Tom, what do you expect to accomplish with you here and Mom there? We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Go home. Talk to Mom without raising your voice. Why raise my voice? I'm sorry I said that. No, no. Do I raise my voice? Sometimes, Tom. It when? happens. When? I want to know. Even in business, no matter the occasion, I always have the reputation of being soft. I Tell can't, I can't think of when now. Did I ever raise my voice to you? <sighs> ever? Never. Never, Pop. Uh, Means whenever there's anything slightly disagreeable to do around here, you are a goner. Just a simple little thing to do to make my life easier. I don't think it's a simple thing to do to tell your father and my mother to get the hell out of the house. That is not what you were supposed to tell them. Well, I'm afraid that's exactly what it would have sounded like to them. It's inconvenient to have you here now. Scat. Drink okay? Fine. <laughs> well, pardon me. I'm just trying to figure out what grand excuse you come up with this time for not doing what you said you dreamed of doing. <laughs> Damn you, George! Damn you! Sometimes you can be so overbearing! Overbearing? What number's that? Oh, the one that comes right after you can be so bloody judgmental! Judgmental? This just keeps getting better and better! So, I'll explain when I feel like explaining, if I feel like explaining, and if I don't, I won't. Where are you going? Out. Why are you going out? Because I don't want to be in. What? My summarization? A, I don't see things around me. B, I'm insensitive to your feelings. C, I'm overbearing. And D, I'm judgmental. Oh, I can summarize too. 